Robo Sally is a versatile moving platform with a humanoid attachment that looks like a modern day centaur. It can turn in tight spaces, climb over small obstacles, closely examine objects, and even manipulate them with human like hands. But Robo Sally was not initially designed for sentry duties. Mike McLaughlin is the principal investigator for APL's prosthetic program. The purpose of that program was to develop prosthetic arms that had all the capability of your natural arms. You could do all the very complex motions that we can do with a natural arm with the robot. And so we had the idea that, you know, if we did this for, for prosthetics for humans, we could also put these on robotic platforms and enable the robots to go out into dangerous situations. It was a complex task. McLaughlin says the device not only had to have many small motors to mimic the flexibility of the human hand, it needed human-like strength. The thumb was especially difficult because it allows the hand to grasp objects and everything had to fit into a space about the size of a hand. The next problem, McLaughlin says, was to figure out how to control the artificial hand. So we had, had to figure out how to make the connection between the brain and this arm. And so we've done that, for example, for spinal cord injury patients where we actually can interface with the brain and use the patient's thoughts to control the arm. Of course, for search and rescue duties, Robo Sally will be operated by wireless remote control through special gloves and glasses. The glasses allow the operator to see the robot's hands and enables him to finally control their movement. McLaughlin says robots like this could be used in dull, dirty or dangerous situations where human dexterity is a requirement. So for example, opening a door or turning a valve or, or any, you know, you go into uh, you know, a factory like, or a power plant like Fukushima, I mean that was all designed for humans, okay? And so you need to be able to go in and have the human-like capabilities in order to, to be able to work in that environment. McLaughlin says the technology is not ready for practical application, but predicts that within five years we will see some amazing advances. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.